we are doing a rock today. So this is one of those Smackdowns where it's about a rock on the surface. It's not about a rock. It's about Iran. It's not really about Iran. It's about the United States. On Friday, the Iraqi Prime Minister agreed to step down amidst protests that have been going on in Iraq since the middle of October. They've been going on for a long time. So Iraq has really only been on its feet with this sort of government for only a couple of years. And so I think this is the first time that Iraqi citizens of Iraq have really sort of felt like they could do something like this. And so this is where these protests come from. The economy is, is, has been going downhill for the last several years, just year after year after year. And it's kind of reached a tipping point. But then there's this other side too, and this is the interesting part where this is really about, this story is really about Iran. The uh, Iranian consulate was burned to the ground. Four people were killed in, uh, in, in Iraq. There's something going on that has been going on for a long time with Iran. Iran has, been, has always been suspected of being a part of manipulating Iraqi politics for their own ends. And I think this is the interesting story here, is that Iraq has been infiltrated by Iran and has been since 2011. After we left in 2011, at the end of 2011, that created this vacuum. And what's happened is, is that all of the Iraqis that were working for the CIA when we left, all of a sudden they had nothing to do and they were kind of hung out to dry because they had been working for the Americans and so they didn't have anywhere to turn and so they just flipped and started working for the Iranians and the Iranians start, took them in and they had all this information about American intelligence and they started working for the Iranians now and this is what these documents, all of these documents that have come out in the last week um, have revealed to the international community. And we as, and this is where us as like Americans, like, we completely dropped the ball on this. We just walked away and didn't provide any sort of cover or protection for all these people, and now they've flipped. And so there's this huge breach in, uh, in, in information gathering via Iraq. And all this is happening, of course, um, in Iraq, at the expense of Iraqis, at the expense of the politicians. The guy, the prime minister who just um, stepped down, was an independent candidate, but he was thought to be owned by the Iranians. Stop there. That's Abdul Mahdi. That is the Prime Minister that just um, stepped down, right? And he's meeting with Rouhani, who's the Iranian uh, president. Okay, that, that's the footage. So those are the two players. And that, the idea is that these two people are way too close. Iran is ascending. I don't know if we ever intended this. This is an unintended consequence, right? So you have the two greatest enemies of Iran in the region were the Taliban in Afghanistan and, uh, and, the, and the Iraqis, the nationalist enemies. After 2003, we wiped out the Taliban and opened up Afghanistan for them. And we wiped out the Iraqis and opened up Iraq to, to, uh, uh, to Iran. So we have this situation now in this region where Iran is ascending. When, in, from an intelligence point of view, from a strategic point of view, Iran is ascending. Now they're under a lot of pressure with economically, their people are not necessarily happy, their, uh, their economy is, under, is being stressed by the, all the sanctions that are happening. We pulled out of the Iranian accord, which further isolated them even more. And, and Iran continues to push back against this, announcing that they would start developing uranium. This was like a month and a half ago, a month ago or six weeks ago. They're almost daring European powers to come in and get involved because they know that they won't. So they are continuing to push in the region. This isn't really, Iran is, is you gotta, we have to watch Iran. So anyway, this is the, just to, this to let you know, this is the last of the Global Smackdowns for, uh, for this, this semester because we don't have one next week. So, but we will look forward to, uh, to seeing you all next semester when you come around. So thank you very much. I appreciate you.